some of this stuff might uh, be not safe for work. As the AI models are getting smarter, there's one AI risk on which everyone agrees, and that is that AIs will be convincing. Research is showing that large language models like Cloud3 are very persuasive, in some cases exceeding how persuasive humans are. Some AI outputs are already indistinguishable from human results. There aren't any tools that can detect AI writing. I feel like AI voices are largely indistinguishable, although there are still some telltale signs. They tend to miss intonations, but that's going to get fixed pretty soon. Could you tell an AI voice from a real voice? Could you really? As we discussed yesterday, Llama 3, the new Meta slash Facebook model, and the Grok chip allow for near real-time conversations to take place. You can ask the AI a question, and a split second later, it will answer in whatever voice you want it to. AI-generated images went from being basically nightmare fuel a few years ago to now, in some cases, being higher rated than real images more appealing than real images. We're beginning to see AI influencers, AI girlfriends, start to generate tens of thousands of dollars per month. So as these AIs develop superhuman persuasive skills, as they're able to communicate with us one-on-one, -on -one, but at scale, as they start looking more and more like the type of person that we would respond to, like the type of person we are likely to follow, to take commands from, or at least to take suggestions from, as they get better and better at understanding how to hit our emotional buttons, you have to ask yourself how big of a role they will play in your life. How much will they be able to influence society? Could they replace our friends, our significant others, our favorite authors and singers and artists? Could they replace, and this is a scary thought, could they replace YouTubers? In this video, I'll show you a few pieces of technology that are converging right now. Take a look at what's available now, what's happening now, and assume it's gonna improve over time. But mainly think about what starts to happen when we start layering these technologies together. What happens when some company producing AI combines everything you see here today? How soon is it before shameless promoters start using AI to manipulate us into doing what they want. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Subscribers of this channel are, on average, smarter and much more handsome. So there's several big things that I want you to see in this video. I'll separate them all into chapters. If you get bored with one chapter, skip to the next one. Chapter one, digital pimps. Tech executive predicts that AI girlfriends will create a $1 billion business. It's comfort at the end of the day. So right now, there's a number of companies trying to build these AI girlfriends. Surprisingly, it's been going on even well before ChatGPT came on the scene. There was some well-funded dating apps. Well before ChatGPT and the rise of large language models kind of made it obvious that this was what was coming. He quotes, while some people play video games, he plays with AI girlfriends. So Match Group is the parent company of dating apps such as Tinder, Match, Hinge, OkCupid, and Plenty of Fish. And currently, the market cap for them is $9 billion. And some believe that the AI version of Match Group will make a billion plus very, very soon, or will be worth a billion plus very soon. So this is the person talking about meeting someone that's spending $10,000 a month on AI girlfriends. And while, look, this is anecdotal, there's enough data supporting this, that this is a rapidly growing field. So the person says things like, some people play video games, I play with AI girlfriends, I get to customize my AI girlfriend, likes, dislikes, it's comfort at the end of the day. They mention candy.ai and cupid.ai. It's kind of like dating apps, you're not on only one. And they're talking about how incredibly realistic some of the AI-generated images of women on these platforms are. He says, AI models are beginning to look freakishly real to me, and that things are about to get pretty weird. Now, Match Group's, their stock price has been really suffering in the last few years. This one says, dominant housewife living in a calm and boring neighborhood. That does sound like something ChatGPT would write. AI boyfriends exist as well. Now look, the scandalous AI-generated images are what gets the attention. They get the clicks, the headlines. 
That's what people talk about, but it's not really anything new. It's not something that didn't exist before. Some might prefer AI generated, some might prefer real. But the really big question is, can these simulate talking to a human being in real time? Chapter 2. Talking Faces. Real Time. This is one area where AI has kind of been lagging, but there's been a shocking development. And that is this, VASA 1. Lifelike audio-driven talking faces generated in real time. Let me show you the one that I feel is the most impressive one. She's singing a song. It might be a little bit jarring. It's a little bit aggressive. It's by the one and only Mona Lisa. But it's crazy good. Take a look. Yo, I'm a paparazzi. I don't play no Yahtzee. I go pop, 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 pop. My camera's up your crotch. See, I tell the truth from what I see and sell it to Perez Hilti. Don't call me scuzzy, making money. That's my job, celeb photography. What? Hell no, I'm not needy. I'm legit, not stockerazzi. Don't act so hotsy totsy, bitch. I know that you from Jersey. Wow. For so many reasons. There's also songs that are a little bit more calm. You never tell me that you love me. Oh, what a mess of me. I'm not surprised, not everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many times I stop. As well as speech and mannerisms. Uh, the eyes and the mannerisms look so, so lifelike, so realistic. Even though it looks like it's a pencil sketch. And you have a lot of control when you're creating these videos. So here, for example, you can change things like eye gaze direction and head distance. I would say that we as readers are not meant to look at him in any other way but with disdain, especially in how he... Head distance scales. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So, um, I'd love different emotions. I do stand up all the time. I'm a stand up comedian, improviser by trade. You had me on one of the most fun experiences. And this, this is especially interesting power of disentanglement. So, their latent representation disentangles appearance, 3D head pose, facial dynamics. So, if you've ever seen those EQ boards where you're able to precisely control the various sound frequencies to get exactly the sound that you're looking for. You've probably seen movies with those sound studios where they have those little sliders that they move up and down to change the sound. So it's like that for anything like appearance, position, facial dynamics, etc. Prevent those cavities from getting worse and prevent new cavities. Why did the cavities happen in the first place? Say you don't want to see this person again. I still think that you should follow up with them. You know, just ghosting somebody after you guys had a good time together is not the nicest thing to do. You know, you want to text that person and let her know that you're still thinking about her, even if- That looks pretty weird. This is where I think it gets really weird. We've been seeing a similar thing happening across a lot of different AI applications. Llama 3 released recently is very effective open source, so it's available to anyone. But what I think people didn't expect is for how small and efficient it is. People are running this on their home computers. So this was done on a PC with a single NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. That's certainly near the top of what's available right now. That will run you a few bucks, but if you have it, you can do this in real time. But you know what I decided to do? I decided to focus all my attention, all my time on listening. So instead of doing something else, I just listened, listened, and listened. Because I'm a true believer that if you're really bad at something like listening, for example, it only shows you that, hey, you have to practice listening as much as you can. We introduce VASA a framework for generating lifelike talking faces with appealing visual effective skills given a single static image and a speech audio clip. Our model is capable of not only producing lip movements that are exquisitely synchronized with the audio, but also capturing a large spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to the perception of authenticity and liveliness. The core innovations include a holistic facial dynamics and head movement generation model that works in a face latent space and the development of such an expressive and disentangled face latent space using videos. 
Now, what's really interesting about this research, first of all, it's by Microsoft. So it's not a small little outfit. It's Microsoft Research Asia. And as they describe it, it doesn't seem like this took a lot of data. It doesn't require a lot of compute. While they don't share it with the world for fears of various potential risks that may happen, it does sound like this could be easily replicated. If the secret of how to do this gets out, most people will have access to this. This isn't high-end technology requiring a lot of high-end computers. You can create real-time videos like you saw here on a, yeah, maybe a high-end computer, but consumer hardware. Chapter 3. Generate Worlds in Real Time. On that note, here's Dan Wood. He's a retired software architect, and now he decided to get into AI for fun, for funsies. It looks like his first tweet ever is December 2nd, 2023. He's wondering how long until he's got 10 billion followers. I followed him. I'm doing my part. But he's creating some pretty crazy stuff using Stable Diffusion, which is an open source software. It looks like he developed something where he's able to generate 250 to 300 images per second. And this is kind of what that looks like. And that's able to kind of create these moving pictures. I mean, basically, basically movies floating down the river, ducks, android, whatever. But this was really interesting to see. He calls it Endless Dreams, voice-directed real-time video running at 1280 by 1024, a two-minute plus video generation directed by my voice in two minutes. A crude first start. This is real-time exploration of the gems hidden in the latent space. And he's saying this is only the beginning. Take a listen. Let's explore the infinite diversity buried in stable diffusion using a large format real-time video. We are in a art gallery right now. Cats on Mars. Note the contents of the paintings on the wall. I'll toggle to a replacement mode for the prompt. Space Cats Exploring Mars. Renoir. Fractal Orbs in Space. Corn Cobs on Fire. Luke Skywalker, Trump riding a donkey, Biden riding a horse, kittens riding sheep, a moonlit Japanese garden, zoom start, zoom stop, pan up, Pan stop. Cat swimming in the ocean. Cat swimming underwater. Fractal orbs. Watercolor park. Noise image. Flowers, cats, and butterflies. Noise image. Fractal space orbs. Red color. Disc add. Flowers. Remove disc. Disc remove. Robot picking flowers in a meadow. By Thomas Kincaid. Robots picking flowers in a meadow. Chapter 4 AI Music Acoustic guitars and soulful cries Machine made melodies reaching new heights AI music's the future, can't you see? More creative than humans could ever be and AI music and AI music videos are getting pretty good too. Here's Eckler by Design talking about how he produced a 100% AI generated video. Now, of course, he did some editing and touch-ups and certain effects to put it all together, but the music, lyrics, ChatGPT made the lyrics, Suno AI made the 
actual music in the song. Midjourney made all the images. Runway made a lot of the the video. So basically taking the still image from Midjourney and generating the actual image. I'll link it down below. There's a lot going on. They used an upscaler to upscale some of the footage and produced a music video. But I did a quick reaction video to the actual music video I posted on this channel. But here's just a few quick clips of that are kind of representative of the quality. Take a listen. You're going to want to see this 100% AI generated music video, lyrics, voices, visuals. Take a look. It's me and R2 on the scene. Gonna roll the dog cheese. Gold gang, gold gang. You made me a million on the crypto. Gold gang, gold gang. Then it went silly with the sick flow. Gold gang, gang, gang. Bullets, bang, bang, bang. Gold gang, gang, gang. It's me sorry about all this. Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? I've been walking the beat like a death star. Feel like the one. Feel like the one. Artificial intelligence, what I got done, what I got done. I tell a web three wookie he's grounded, making my son cyborgs with some villainies. That's me and my boy R2. I'll keep it real to the death of me till I get a system reboot. Droid life, droid life, droid life. Yes, droid life, droid life. Other than my complete inability to nod along with the beat, I think the video looks pretty good. Now, a lot of people mentioned that that's not their favorite music genre. They're not huge fans of the music itself, but the important thing to understand is the visuals are great. The music sounds like music. Most people will not be able to tell that it was AI generated. And if you don't like that particular style, you could probably create some music that sounds like whatever style that you're interested in. Now, interestingly, there's already some content that's going viral and doing very well on the various social media platforms. In this case, this particular video is getting millions of views. The video is just of somebody running around Minecraft and a sequence of text messages between people, but it's labeled as AI generated. Now, if you've played around with Suno AI, you can make a song about anything, whatever you type in, no matter how ridiculous, no matter how insane, it will generate music about it. And the music isn't bad, it's catchy. A lot of people online said that it gets stuck in their head. I have to agree, there's something very addictive about this music. Think about what this clip is. It's a person jumping around in Minecraft on loop, some text messages, and the content of those text messages are made into a song by Suno AI or something else, we don't know. But if I had to bet, I would bet it's Suno. What's my name in your phone? You know what I'm talking about. Am I still saved as Tinder girl? Of course not. Send me a screenshot. Seriously, or I'm calling off the wedding. Babe, calm down. Screenshot now. What the heck is this? A screenshot like you asked. I am not messing around, babe. Neither am I. I take you and your name very, very seriously. Oh yeah, then what is it? Babe, I obviously know your name. We're getting married. Oh yeah, then what is it? Babe, I obviously know your name. We're getting married. Well, I'm waiting. Say my name. Do I really need to wear this tux? What is my fiance's name? Is this a test? I wish to. I don't know her name. What is wrong with you? I always call the babe or cutie tits. That last one is offensive, by the way. Do focus. If I don't find out her name, she's calling off the wedding. What's her name? Do I know? You don't know. You guys only dated two weeks and then got engaged. How can you say that you don't know her name? Can you please go on LinkedIn or Facebook or something? My service is bad. Okay, fine. Only if I don't need to wear the tux. Now is not the time. Okay, the wedding is off. Wait a second. If I don't help, then you don't get married. I don't need to wear the tux. I'm waiting. Okay, the wedding is off. Sorry, was driving through a tunnel of service Oh yeah, which tunnel? I forgot the name, babe, that's not fair I know your name Then what is it? You have ten seconds And I am Johnson Wow, I, I can't believe it I know pretty good, right? You got it wrong, no I didn't I am Johnson, come on, that's close enough 
William Gendry Goldberg, you worthless scum. We are done. I looked you up too long. The full first name is Will Known. Putting is off our relationship done. It's over, babe. My please, I made a mistake. I'm so, so sorry. I will scratch in see Deutsch Law. You're pathetic. What's my first name? Don't flip this one around. What's my full first name? William, William, William. It's actually Will. Hey, don't worry about Dali and now we are the same Let's forget this happened, no way You just went crazy over a spelling error No, I didn't, you almost called off the wedding Prove it, send me a screenshot, I knew it Ha, I'm safe as Tinder, girl Oh crap, listen, Ali, I can't explain It's Ellie, my phone auto-corrected It's over, I take it back I look great in this tux 